What's up, YouTube? Today, let's talk about the Wheel of Time. Usually, I have my phone propped up against that wall mount there, but I'm off today from work, and I just feel like chilling, so I'm lying in bed on my stomach. Let's just talk about the Wheel of Time, the series, the TV show. I haven't read any of the books. I read online that the last book, it was supposedly the last book, the author was working on it and then he got passed away or she I don't know if it's a male or female I think it's a male though so but let's talk about the tv show man I think it was very interesting very good um I thought the season finale would be lackluster because we already knew who the dragon was but that was an awesome season finale we got to see the heroes of the horn um and see which identities were revealed to be heroes of the horn. Like the guy with the eye patch, I forgot his name. Um, it was very sad seeing Egwene captured by the Swanchon. However you say their name, I don't know how you say it. Swanchon, Saint John. But um and it was sad seeing Perrin's wolf buddy Hopper get killed by the white cloaks, but it had to happen for Perrin to activate his full what was wolf brother well i forgot what this what parent what parents race of people are called but it had to happen for his eyes to awaken um one thing that i'm looking forward to in season three is obviously Rand's training Rand has to train with um the false dragon i forgot his name the guy with the long black hair um uh we have to see what is Lanfear going to do? Lanfear, also known as Selene, uh, what is she going to do now that um, one of her fellow Forsaken have warned her to stay away from Rand? Um, what is she going to do? Because now she's been ordered to stay away from Rand while the Forsaken fight amongst themselves and the dragon. Like Moraine said, you know, uh, the dark are not the dark friends the uh the forsaken fought amongst themselves as much as they did the dragon so we got to see what are the other forsaken like um obviously they're bad news that they had lanfear shook as she said in the series finale light be with you randolph what was, what's randolph? randolph thor um but man that was just r.i.p to ishamil one of the best antagonists on film, on TV history. Um, I, I gotta be honest, man. Egwene's actor, she is cute, man. She is, she is very cute, man. But my favorite character is Nynaeve. Um, at first, I didn't like how they kept faking out Nynaeve's death. For, like, first we had it with her and the Trollocs. And then we have her and the Arches. Like, they keep putting Nynaeve in these situations where normal people wouldn't come out alive, but then she just comes back. And I'm like, why y'all keep playing with my girl like that? Like, y'all keep getting us sad and, and like, oh, no, Nynaeve's gone. And then she comes back and I'm like, what in the world? But I'm not complaining, man. It was, it was just, I can't believe I'm done. I need something new to watch. I'm going to watch The Rings of Power next. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. But uh, this is about the Wheel of Time. Uh, I got spoiled because I was being greedy and curious and looking through YouTube comments of Wheel of Time clips. And I found out that the opening returned in the season two finale. I wish I didn't read those comments because that would have been hyped because I missed that opening. I like that opening a lot. Oh. Yeah, but um, phenomenal job to all the actors, Min, Perrin, Egwene, Nynaeve, Rand, Matt. Um, um, I think, I, I think based off how Rand was at that, when he was being healed by uh, the next queen, queen, whatever her name was, I forgot. But Rand was like, who are you? And then she said her name. Uh, I wonder if, that's supposed to be one of Rand's wives because Rand's supposed to have three wives. Obviously, the first being Egwene, 
Maybe the second being line fear. Third being the girl who healed him. I don't know. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions because she is supposed to marry the king. But she didn't know that the king is a freaking dark friend. Yeah. Moraine's got to handle that. Um, the king, as we know from season two, is he's been jailed. He's in a cell by his own mother. Because if, like Lorraine said, when she was talking to the king, the king to be, she was like, if your mother suspects anything, remove her from the board as well. So I'm like, dang, that was an interesting plot twist. How is Moraine going to handle the news of her own family being turned over to the dark friends? So I can't wait to see how that happens. Um, I'm debating. It's been a minute since I read uh, a freaking fantasy book. I think the last book I read was a Stephen Hawking biography. And that was like, that was, that was so many years ago. It was like 2018 or something like that. Um, I don't know if I'll read the, uh, the book series for Wheel of Time, uh, because one, it's, it's online, it said it's 14 volumes, and, uh, the last volume, like I said earlier in the video, the author was working on, then he passed, or she passed, and, um, I don't know, I don't know if I'll check it out. Because that's a lot of volumes to get into. But everyone's saying that the books are where it's at. The books are way better. But uh, if the TV show had me hooked like that, then I can't imagine what the books would be like. Like I said, it's been a minute since I've read a freaking book. I've been reading the Bible lately. And that's that. That's all there is to say about that. But I don't know. Maybe I will take a break from reading the great book and check out some fantasy series or something like that because everyone's wondering if there's going to be a season three i think there is this show is amazing a couple clips have a couple million views on youtube so obviously a lot of people are interested in the show matt blowing the horn has like 2.3 million views so obviously people like the show um the critics they say this in the episodes, like when you're watching the episodes, the little narrator, the critics are claiming the Wheel of Time to be one of the best uh, fantasy shows of all time. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I can understand why, because it's a very good show. But um, but yeah, I I was just depressed when that Egwene being treated as a demone. I was just because I was like, of all people in the show, why? Egwene, man, she ain't done nothing wrong, man. And now Egwene turned into a killer. Like, Egwene turned into a killer. Perrin freaking killed one of the white cloaks, like the son of the white cloak that uh, Perrin killed. He was like, Two rivers, two rivers, no. I was like, Damn, man, this is insane. And Perrin is just like, Yo, man, Perrin has been through a lot, man. Perrin has been through a lot, but, you know, um, killing his own wife that was tragic during the trollic attack man but this video is going on eight minutes long i don't want to reach 10 minutes but i could talk about the wheel of time for like an hour but let me know if you have checked out the wheel of time if you haven't checked out the wheel of time then i suggest you do because that this was a fun watch to to watch through man i i, I can only imagine like i said earlier i can only imagine what the books are like you know, Ryan struggling with not wanting to kill all the loved ones close to him. Um, hey, man, now we got more of the Forsaken. All of the Forsaken have been unleashed. Like, ah, man, it's going to be insane. What are the, what are the Forsaken going to be like, man? We only got one. The Weaver, the Weaver from the shadows, man. I can't wait, man. But yes, thank you all for watching The Wheel of Time. Check it out. Um zoom here and i'll see you all in the next video